Hey guys, you know, this is Kiara Unique, and this is, what video am I doing? This is my fall 2012 um, accessories haul, and some of it's kind of like accumulated, like I brought it and I just forgot to, um, I actually forgot to talk about them, and you know, I don't like, I don't know, I don't like wearing things before I review it, because it takes the, uh, it really do take the fun out of it. So, here is the haulage, and I think one of them I actually showed, okay, I'm lying, I showed you one of them because it was an outfit of the day. So, to begin this haul, happy October, October, and let's begin. I'm a little bright, so, I don't know, like, I need the light, okay. Anyways, sorry. The first item is this cocktail ring, and it is turquoise, and I love turquoise. I had a, I actually had the, I don't know, I had the bracelet to go with it, but I can't find it. And I specifically did not wear it, so I can show y'all, but it's gone. So my sister, I probably let my sister hold it, but this cocktail ring is silver and turquoise, and it is just so beautiful, and it's sparkly. Yeah, and it's really, actually, it's too big for me, but it's too big for my pinky, too small for my ring finger, too small for all the ones. I hate having fat fingers, so if you're plus size and you have fat fingers, please let me know what y'all do because I can't do, like, I really can't, I can't, like, I just can't deal with not being able to wear nice rings that's not stretchy because I hate stretchy rings, so come in a lot closer okay the next item is um the links where I get this from I'm going to put them below um I actually got a new editing software so I'm really excited to show y'all this but the next um item I got is this Peter Pan like um necklace it's a collared necklace or bib necklace whatever you want to call it so y'all, I'm just like upset because I always either I have two dim of the light and now my light is too bright, but it's okay. And I'm gonna put the post below so y'all can actually see it. And I think this necklace was like five five dollars. And I it's not actually too short for my neck. So it's a real good length. So if you're plus size and you're worried about the necklace um being too short, it's actually a good length. You actually have some of this. I think this is the length I um I wear mine at, and my little sister actually has this necklace. But um I wanted my own. I I don't like sharing stuff, so I brought my own. You know I love her and all, but I didn't want to share it with her. And this is just pretty because it has the flower detailing on it, and it's gold. It's not silver. It's actually gold. And um yeah, it's real real nice. It's real nicely made, and this came from China, so it took. I don't know, it took a minute to get to to get it. <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't got my wig on all the way, but it's okay. I'm gonna put it head back on. Okay, forget it. It looks fabulous up here. Maybe I should do my video like this so y'all wanna see. The next is actually <laughs> the next item is actually a um built necklace also. But this one is so freaking pretty, it's like so edgy. The um inside of the necklace, of the actual necklace itself, is snake skin. I don't know. Can y'all see it? It's snake, snake, snake skin. It's so freaking pretty. I love it. And then around the snake skin is bordered with a nice gold trim. And this necklace is a bit too short for me, but I'm actually going to get an extender. If I can't find an extender, I'm going to go to. Going to go to. Um. Home Depot, and I'm gonna find. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna go to the Home Depot, and I'm gonna find a chain and hook it up, so you know it could work for me. Because this one really is choking. It's choking the hell out of me, to be honest with y'all. But um, yeah, this is a nice Peter Pan necklace, and it actually has a rose in the middle. The other one just had a just a little gold hoop, but this one has a rose in it, and it's so freaking precious. I love it. And I believe that this one was actually it was either five it was four fifty or six fifty. I can't remember. But I'm gonna put the link um in the description box below. So, you know, 
China's Karen, but it came from China, so it's going to take a minute to get here. It didn't really take that long because I also have some clutches, some envelope clutches that I ordered, and I didn't um, receive them yet, and those are going to actually take some time, so I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put the picture of the clutch I ordered. That's really what I was waiting for for this haul was those clutches because I love those clutches, but because they're coming from China, it's taking more than a minute for them to come so i'll just put the description um in the link box i'll put the link in the description box below if y'all want to see them and i'll also try to include the pictures in the actual, this actual video and hopefully i can edit it and put it in right here instead of just putting it at the end the next um accessory i have is this necklace and I've had this in an outfit of the day video, but I really love it, especially for fall, because fall is all about jewel tones, and I love jewel tones. If I really wear jewel tones in neutral colors all year long, but um, I think this necklace goes great with jewel tones, whether it's a rustic brown or a tan or a emerald green. It's just a beautiful necklace to wear. And... The reason why I don't I try to stir away from costume jewelry is because I hate rusted, crusty costume jewelry. Like I have this rack in my room that I have to hang like my necklaces and specific earrings on because I don't want them to get rusted and shut up, and I don't want them to look cruddy and nasty um, or deteriorate. So I like this necklace because only thing I have to worry about is this charm, and this charm looks like is very very maintained because this cord right here. It's, you know, it's made out of like a leather or a string. I don't know. So, I love this necklace. I always wear this necklace. This is like my to-go-to necklace. Like, I haven't worn those collars yet, but I have worn this necklace so many times. Um, The next necklace, this is actually an old piece. And this just reminds me of Carrie from Sex in the City. Like, Carrie had a necklace that says... Carrie, like it was so beautiful. Hers was gold, and I have a necklace that says Kiki. And I actually had this, brought this my sophomore year with um one of my good friends, and we went through hell to get this necklace because the person who was selling this to us, he was acting shady. But anyways, but um this necklace is just a gold necklace. It's silver. It's not gold. It's a silver necklace, and it just says Kiki. I don't know. Let's see. It just says Kiki. And that's my nickname. Actually, oh, it's going backwards. Actually, I had to spell, change, okay. I had to change the spelling of my middle name, right, y'all? Because in order to get it at the price I got this for, it would have been cheaper if I kept the two letters all. I used to spell my name K-I-E, K-I-E. But now I just spell it K-I-K-I because -I, of this necklace. Um... Yeah, only because of this necklace. And so for the additional letters, I think it would have been like $40, I think. So I wasn't going to pay $40 when the necklace itself was like 50 The charm was like $50, so I wasn't going to pay $90. But yeah, I love this necklace. You can't really see, but it's a little tarnished, but I like it actually tarnished because I don't really like silver. So... The next, oh yeah, we're almost done. Woohoo! Yeah. Okay. The next item is this um, cuff bracelet. And I forgot to tell you how much. This, my brother actually brought this and it came with a set. It was, um, I don't recollect. I think it was $8. Um, the ring, the turquoise ring was, I believe it was like $6.99. The store was half off and the original price was $12. 99 and I think I would have paid twelve dollars for it because this ring ain't going nowhere. This ring is so sturdy. It's not that cheap material. It's not like the gathered um the opening and closing. It's actually a good material, like metal. So yeah, this was I think I don't remember the price. I think this was ten dollars and this is just a um just a regular cuff bangle and I think cuffs no matter fall, summer, they're always going to be in because they're so versatile. Like, you can stack these up. I could just imagine someone stacking this up wearing um, a black, I don't know, a black chiffon top stacked up with this 
bangle. I can just picture that. And even in the summertime, wearing a nice maxi dress with this one bangle is going to be so freaking beautiful. But um, this bangle, I don't know. I love this bangle. I actually have it in gold. I thought I had it over here, but I can't find it. But this bangle is silver, and it has like little elephants on it. And I think this is actually an Indian piece. I don't know. I don't want to make assumptions, but I think this is actually an Indian piece. And I just love this bangle. I had to actually get the bangle in two different colors because I love gold. But I love, I actually love the silver bangle more than the gold bangle. And I really wish I could find a bangle. But I can't. Oh, man. Anyways, this is my favorite bangle. I actually had it for the summertime, but I didn't really wear it that much. I wore the gold one all summer. So, um, the last item, well, not one more. The next item is just this headband. And I think every girl really should have a statement headband because you never know when you're going to have that day when you just don't want to do anything with your head. You just want to, I don't know, with me, I just want to slap on a wig and keep it going or if you're a Caucasian and you don't wear wigs you just want to put your head it's probably in a messy bun or just slap it back and put a headband on and keep going and I don't know if headbands really are accessories but they're accessories to me because they accessorize your hair so I need to put this headband on right now actually to cover up my my wig yeah Okay. Whew. And the last accessory is, I don't know if it's an accessory, but it's this little bun, this little bun thingy, little bun maker. And pretty much what you do is, I don't really know because I've never used it before. I'm excited. But what you do is you just put your hair through the little hole. I hate live demonstrations, y'all. You put your hair through the hole and then you just roll it up. And then it makes a bun. Like it's so freaking cool. Like I don't know if y'all can see this. But it makes a bun. And I'm so into messy buns. But I do not have the common sense that God has given me to learn how to make a messy bun. So I got this. And this actually is the easiest way. You just put your hair in through this little hoop like I just showed and then you roll it up and then when you're done rolling it up you just put the hook in and this is some pretty durable plastic I'm scared it's gonna break but hopefully it don't break on me soon but yeah and it just makes a beautiful bun um here's the package it came in and it actually shows you different buns you can use this comes all the way from China so yeah, I'm not sure how to read this, but here is just all the different buns you can make using this um, system. And I'm just really trying to achieve a, a, a good messy bun. Um, and that's it. That's it, y'all. I hope y'all are fabulous. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. Stay fabulous. Stay faithful. And always remember to stay dolled up. Please follow me on Twitter at I am Kiara Unique and at Tumblr at I am Kiara Unique dot Tumblr dot com. Um, please show support and please, oh please, oh please, like this video and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend to so subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow this channel and make it. I don't know because I'm still trying to reach my goals to have a channel that caters to everyone. Um. You know, I think with a lot of gur gurus, I don't know, they get so wrapped up in themselves, they forget about the people that actually help them get where they are. And I want to show some type of appreciation by having good contests with things that people need, showing people that you don't need to have certain products to get certain looks, showing people that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get certain looks. And I'm just really into... I don't know, like my demographic is just the younger generation because as of, as of right now, I'm young, so you know, I want to help those people out because when you help a generation, that generation eventually ends up helping other people and I want, you know, when we get old, 
to make a difference in someone's 